Hello friends, today we are going to learn how to run microservice using a jar file. So this is useful for the UI developers who just work with the components but some activities such as logging in, registering it is required for the microser related microservices to be executed at the same time. For that case, they would not basically be interested in uh, opening Eclipse. Uh, running uh, opening the microservice then running uh, opening the application.java file and then running the microservice and then uh, continuing the work for them this is a shortcut so first uh, first step is to download java development kit uh, you can get the download link in the description it has all the um, uh, different types of products depending upon your operating system you can download then uh, set the uh, jdk path so normally when you download the the jdk uh, 16 so you you have a path right so right now my jdk is jdk 16 is in in c drive and the bin so it is necessary for the uh, bin paths to be set so to uh, set the path you'll have to right click on my computer click on properties and then over here you'll have to click on advanced system settings and click on environment variable so we are basically setting the in, uh, java runtime environment and then uh, double click on path right now here um, you are you're supposed to have the jdk 16 bin path right now i have it already if you do not have then you can copy the path from here copy the path from here and then paste it by uh, clicking new you can paste it over here to create the path then then the next step is to basically create uh, schema user password and uh, give access rights to the user for the schemas in mysql database so you will uh, you basically use a uh, database to store the email password etc so that for, for that you will have to know how to create schemas for that if you do not know you can watch the video about how to create schema user password the video will be given in the description you can also get it in the i section then you'll have to basically copy the jar file so jar file from the microservice that you wish to run so now i'll take a example microservice that is gts identity service and go into the trunk in the target folder i'll have my jar file so right now you can see the file type it's jar file so this is a jar file i'll copy this file and in the gts folder i'm going to create a new folder saying jars so that every time i run a jar i'll not have to go to the microservices and get the jar from the microservice so after pasting the jar file you'll have to do cmd from the jar folder and before that uh, you will basically have to copy the jar file name including the dot jar then from this jar folder you do cmd this window opens and then type exactly as i'm typing java in lowercase space hyphen jar and then paste the jar file name and then press the enter button now the microservice is uh, will get executed so here you can see spring boot so this is the microservice is getting executed
so our microservice has run has started so this then later on you can work like it is still running and then continue working on the my uh, ui components so guys this is how you run a microservice using a jar file hope you guys have understood if you have liked the video do hit the like button thank you guys meet you in the next video goodbye for now